Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, I'm actually really excited about this one because we're going to be trying out not one, not two, not three, but four Patrick Stars One Size Beauty Face Complexion products to see are these really oily skin approved. Now I've seen so much hype around these products and they blur the pores, they control the oil, it lasts all day. And I'm here to really put it to the test. You guys want to know what my thoughts are on this entire line? Does it blur the pores? Is it oily skin approved? Well, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, guys, so if you guys have been on my channel for quite some time, you guys would obviously know I have very, very, very oily skin. Now, I have tried out numerous, numerous products to see what really works for oily skin, and I definitely found some amazing products, but I'm still on the quest to find the holy grail of holy grail foundations, setting powders, setting sprays, face powders. I am on a mission and a quest that will make my makeup last in place for over 12 hours, minimizes the pores and lock in the oil. Now I have seen Patrick Starr all over TikTok talk about his particular products and how they really do blur the pores and they really do control the oil. And I'm here to test that out today. Now, the only thing I don't have is the mattifying waterproof setting spray. I realize I don't have that in my collection, so I do apologize for not having that, but I do have the foundation. I do have the primer. I do have the powder foundation, and I also have the setting powder to really put this to the test today. So we're gonna be doing an all day wear test, and I'm gonna find out is this oily skin approved? So with that said, guys, let's go ahead and dive right on in. Okay, so the first thing we have right here is Secure the Blur. This is the Makeup Magnet Primer. Now it says that this is an ultra blurring, pore refining primer with niacinamide that mattifies and evens out skin texture as it grips makeup for flawless application and enhanced wear. Apply before makeup. Now the first base of this is water, which is gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can really see what my skin looks like before I put on any of these products. We can see the before and after of it. So let's go ahead and get you guys zoomed in. All right, so let's go and start off with the Secure the Blur Primer. I'm gonna take some on my hand. And you guys see my large pores, right? So let's try to rub that in right here. See if we can like see a difference. Mm, I can still see my pores. My face just isn't as shiny. <laughs> Okay, so next we do have the one size. This is the Turn Up the Base BB Cream Beauty Blur Balm. It says that this is a buttery three-in-one texture solver that glides on and gets to work, transforming the appearance of the skin for the ultimate natural beat for flawless, soft, soft matte finish. Um, this helps to hydrate and smooth skin. It's supposed to blur the skin and control oil, and it does dry down to velvety marshmallow finish with a seamless tinted coverage. So I got the shade 2G, which is light golden undertones. Now my shade range is actually light, medium, and neutral undertones, but his shade ranges are a little odd. I had a hard time trying to find something that was perfect for my skin tone without having to buy multiple foundations to mix it, unfortunately. So we're gonna hope that this actually works. I also heard that this product actually does oxidize down. So this still might be a little bit too deep for me. So hopefully it's not, but we shall definitely see. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into this today. I'm excited to give this a try. I've heard wonderful things about this product. And when I saw Patrick Starr do a whole TikTok about his entire product line, I was definitely really intrigued. So we're gonna have to see if this bad boy actually works. All right, so let's take some on the hand. Um, the hole in this is quite large, so it does put out a lot of products. I kind of have to scoop that back in. Little weird that it does that. That's a, that's a really big hole, surprisingly enough. So I think there's like too much product in my hand, but we're gonna hopefully see if this works today. I'm very, very curious because whenever I saw Patrick Star do it on his TikTok, I was like, wow, his skin looked amazing. So I'm really hoping that mine can look the same as well and that it really does control the oil. Because I do know that Patrick Star did suffer from oily skin, large pores, just like me. So it'd be kind of nice to see if this product actually does work. Um, because as you guys know, I am consistently on the quest to find the perfect product for oily skin and large pore. Oh man, guys, I will say I am absolutely tired. So by the time you guys will see this, uh, this Koa surgery would have already happened, but as it stands, Koa is currently at the vet getting his 
balls chopped off. Oh, my poor baby. We had to get up at 5.45 this morning to give him some medication. Because Koa does not do well with a vet visit, um, we had to give him some anti-anxiety medication so that he can just kind of handle it really well and not have to be stressed and it can be calm when he goes to the vet. But let me tell you guys, when we dropped him off, I did everything in my power not to freaking cry at the vet because <laughs> it's such a simple procedure. But I felt so guilty. Like, I literally feel so guilty that I'm, you know, taking away his manhood. And he has no idea what's going on. He's probably like, where are you guys going? Why are you guys, like, leaving me? And I'm over here like, it's because it's for your own good, you know? So I feel really bad. Um, but as soon as we left the vet, like, the second we walked out that door, I immediately broke down and started crying. Like I couldn't even control myself. I could not help it. Okay, so this is one side of my face done. It doesn't look bad at all. I think the I think the match is actually pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. And it's definitely drying down to a very soft, velvety finish. I can definitely see that. Um, my pores are still visible. Like they are super visible, but it's not like settling in and looking bad on the skin. It's still looking pretty nice. So. That's really nice. Um, I just know when it comes to pores, pores are a really tricky thing to you know deal with because at the end of the day, there's only so much that you can do because you can't just like shrink pores. You can minimize the appearance, you could help to blur pores, but you can't just make them disappear. Like some people wish they could, AKA me, wishes that there was like a pill or a skincare that can like visibly shrink the pores to make it look like I have never had pores in my life. But in reality, but in reality, that's just not possible. That is just not a thing. So unfortunately, we just have to, you know, use makeup and beauty products to help to minimize the appearance of them instead of just like having a magical pill that just makes pores disappear altogether. I don't know how to put this back on properly. Okay, that's odd. All right, guys, so to set the powder, because I do want to mix a little bit of powder on top of this, we're going to go into the Turn Up the Base. This is the Versatile Powder Foundation. It says our medium to full coverage powder foundation helps to blur unwanted texture and the appearance of pores while controlling shine. Buttery and buildable, this comfort wear formula settles softly onto the skin for a velvety matte finish. Can be used to blot, set, and touch up the skin, non-kinky, perfect for daily use. Use a powder brush or our Ultimate Puff apply product onto textured areas that are oily, discolored, and uneven, and uneven built to desire finish. So that's what we're gonna go do today. I got the shade Light 2. This is how the product looks. So we are gonna use a fluffy brush to apply it, just like it says, and we're just gonna put it all over the face to kind of set it. And then I will take the Packer Star Translucent Setting Powder to really kind of set in my T-zone to make sure that is as covered as possible. And then we are gonna put this bad boy to the test. So we're gonna take our large powder brush. This is my personal brush. I created bling brushes. These do restock on May 6th, so make sure you guys use code Allie to get your hands on this. My favorite powder brush. So we're just gonna take this, and we're just going to start to just place this all over the face. Because I do get oily everywhere, I wanna make sure that I just set my entire face with this setting powder to make sure that it really does last all day. And it doesn't have a smell to it, so that's actually really nice. Okay, so this is how this skin looks. Nice, even application. So next, I'm gonna go, I forgot to use concealer. I forgot to conceal my under eyes today. <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> All right, so last one, we're gonna go into the Packer Star. This is the ultimate setting powder. I'm literally just gonna place this on my T-zone. So I'm just gonna kind of focus it on my nose, on my cheeks right here, a little bit of my forehead and my chin, but I'm gonna avoid the rest of the face because the rest of the face doesn't get nearly as oily as my T-zone does. So we're just gonna take a little bit and put it in the cap just like so that way we can just set the areas that we need to set and then we're going to start to and then we're going to go ahead and spray the face with a setting spray and then we're going to go in with the rest of the products i'm going to start to do the real wear test from that point on all right so i'm taking on my sponge and i'm just going to place it right here where i have the most issues okay guys so now that that is on let's go and spray the face Let's try out the new Jaclyn Cosmetics Spray. And I'm just gonna mix it a little bit with my Charlotte Tilbury Spray because I really do love the spray. There's like nothing left in that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna quickly just throw on some mascara, some lips, a little bit of bronzer and blush, and we're just gonna call it a day on that. And then I'll be back and we'll do the first impressions followed by the wear test with this.
Okay guys, so this is the final makeup look. Something very, very basic and simple. I didn't put on any highlighter today because I really just wanted to see my face without a highlighter because sometimes a highlighter can make me look more oily than what I am. So I really want to try out the products without using a highlighter. So upon first application, I really am liking how my face looks. Like generally my face right now looks very, very smooth. I like just my face look right right now looks very smooth now my pores are still visible which it is what it is but i'm fine if they're visible if my face looks really smooth very very even very even and if it controls the oil that's what i really look forward to is the oil controlling property because right now i go out and i feel very comfortable i feel very matte i feel very like natural finish and i, I feel very beautiful with this but if it gets really oily and greasy, that's where it's gross. Now I will say if I do get oily, but it doesn't separate with the foundation, I'm still going to enjoy the product because if it doesn't separate, I can still save it by reapplying the setting powder, by reapplying the powder foundation or using a blotting stick, my volcanic roller. So many ways I can save the makeup look if it doesn't separate the foundation. So that's what we're really gonna try out today. It is currently 11 a.m. I just got a phone call from the vet saying that Koa is ready to be picked up, which is so insane because when Kaya had her surgery, she wasn't ready to be picked up until about three or four o'clock in the afternoon, but he's already good to go. So I'm gonna quickly, you know, end the video here so I can go get my baby. But I will say that I'm very impressed upon first application. I feel like the color match is really nice. Maybe the reason why I'm enjoying the color match is because mixing these two products together really helped to create my perfect balance. So I am liking it right now, but we are definitely be doing a wear test throughout the day. I'm gonna check in multiple times. That way I can give you guys my real thoughts on this products and let you guys know is it oily skin approved so so let's so with that said guys we're gonna go ahead and jump into the wear test all right guys so i just want to quickly show you guys what my foundation looks like in natural light so this is my face in natural light again i'm really liking how this applied it applied beautifully like i said you can still see my pores but my face just looks nice and smooth and i think it's definitely a perfect match so we're gonna like i said try this out for 12 hours to really see if my oil seeps through is it oil controlling but so far upon first application I'm actually really impressed. I like it so far. Okay, so this is better lighting. I'm outside right now because I wanted to show you guys. This is after um, I put it on, first initial application. I really am enjoying how my face looks. You can definitely see where the face is nice and smooth. The, per the pores are still visible, but my face is nice and smooth. It's a nice even coverage. I'm really liking how it looks. Like my forehead's nice and smooth. My bottom and my chin's nice and smooth. Even like the pores, they're visible, but it still looks like really soft, matte, and smooth. So I'm really liking how this is looking based upon first application. So we're really gonna have to keep, you know, seeing how it looks throughout the day. But if this continues to be like this all day, then we might have found a new holy grail. But this is how it looks. This is 30 minutes after application. I am loving how it looks, but I just wanted to show you guys in like a natural light. So now you guys get to see. Looks good. <laughs> I just woke up from a nap. I passed out. Like literally passed out because I started watching the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. And I passed out. So it is officially 4.05. I've had this makeup on now for 12, 1, 2, 3 five hours put it on at 11 o'clock like I was done with my whole makeup routine at 11 o'clock but it's five hours I've had this on I need to go look at this in the, like natural light let's go look at a natural light well my lips are gone but this is me five hours what this is looking pretty good do you, I'm in like a natural light right now. Do you guys see how nice this is looking? I, I I need to go look at my beauty lights like with my mirror, but do, do you guys see? After five hours, this is how my face looks. And I took a nap. I took a nap, well, involuntarily. I fell asleep. <laughs> so let me go, let me go show you guys what looks like a natural light. Oh, in my beauty room light. All right, so I am getting a little shiny for sure. You guys can see where I'm definitely getting like shiny right here. It still doesn't look bad. Like it is a little shiny, just a little shiny in my T-zone. It's actually funny because that's where I set with my extra setting powder, but all right here still looks pretty good. So this might be a little messed up. That's where I fell asleep, but all right here looks pretty good. Like I, after five hours, I'm definitely getting like shiny right here, but it's still holding on really nicely. Like nothing is separating. My face still looks like fresh. Hi, sweetie. My face still looks fresh, so I feel like if I were to 
redo my makeup, like do like a rolling volcanic roller or reset it with a setting powder or um, blot my face, I feel like my face would look like I just first applied it. So I actually do appreciate how this looks. So this is, wow, that is, wow, not bad. Five hours in and this is how I'm looking, starting to get just a little oily right here. I'd say it's looking pretty good. Alrighty. I'm liking this so far. It's actually looking pretty good. Okay, so this is my face 12 hours later and it's pretty oily, but it's still not bad. Like it's not bad at all. I'm like really oily in my T-zone, but like down here, it's not that bad. Forehead, it's not that bad. I'm taking like a better close-up look so I can like really see it. Nothing has separated. Like I'm missing like a small little spot right here in my nose and maybe a little bit on my chin, but nothing has really separated too much. Like this area is still holding on. This is still holding on. The forehead is definitely hold on. This little area is kind of messed up, but I obviously have been eating and drinking and whatnot. So I am quite impressed. Like this looks really good after 12 hours. So I would definitely say this is not a holy grail for oily skin, but I do think that if you have really oily skin like myself, you would actually enjoy these products. I think that after the first six hours, you guys saw that my face started to get, I think after the first five hours, you guys saw my face started to get slightly oily. I think from that point on, if I just were to upkeep it throughout the day, right, re-blotting, using a volcanic roller, re-going back in with the powder, my face can be saved. So the fact that, I'm looking like this after 12 hours. I think it's actually quite incredible because you guys have seen me do other foundations review where I'm just like disgusting. This is manageable. This is manageable, especially how the sides of my face look. The nose, whatever. But the sides of my face are still holding on. So I definitely can say that I think that this Patrick Star One Size Beauty products that he created for oily skin, I think they work. For the most part, I definitely think they work. So... I'm happy. <laughs> like, I'm really happy. I'm going to keep using his products because I'm presently, I'm pleasantly surprised. I just wish I could use the found uh, the setting spray, but I didn't have that. But I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Alrighty, guys. And that is it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. So I post four to five videos a week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful ventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, a huge thank you goes to all these beautiful patron members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you, and I'll definitely see you guys in the very next video. Bye! Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. No. <laughs> oily proof to see if these are really secure the blur they blur so you guys don't know what <laughs> so it blurs to help it it does have blurring it does have it's and i'm gonna start doing the clock then i'm gonna start doing the countdown to see and then i'm gonna start timing this price then i'm